So the game I'm playing today is called Pillage the Village. This is another Flash game made by XGen Studios, the developers of Motherload and Defend Your Castle. This game is meant to be the prequel to Defend Your Castle, not the spiritual successor, because that's what I said it basically was in the last part. But that's not entirely correct, because if it's a prequel, that would imply it's in the exact same series, but anyway... I don't know anything about this Flash game because I never played it before. The only thing I really know about it is that it's the prequel to Defend Your Castle. So, I assume that the gameplay will be mostly the same. It'll probably have to do with picking people up with your cursor and throwing them on the ground and watching them explode into a pool of blood. So, it'll, it'll probably have the same premise. And that's all that I can really preface this video with, guys, because I don't know anything about this game. I never played it before. I've already played Defend Your Castle, though, and uploaded a video of that game, so... I'm ready to dive right into this. Also, this game came out in 2007, so it is pretty old, and it's probably gonna look outdated as all hell. Anyway, let's just start. Alrighty then. Wow, okay, the quality kind of, like, dropped there suddenly. Alright, round one, you gotta pillage the village. Oh, wow, okay, this is, like, really, really pixelated for some reason. Oh, jeez, click and hold on the villager to pick him up. Okay, well, he's gone. He just entered the stratosphere. Oh, my lord. Okay, and I get money from that. Dragon release to throw him. I see. Oh, and that was it. That was the entire round, guys, so we're already done here. Alright. Let's just continue on, then. I don't know how many rounds there are, or if this is like Defend Your Castle, where it probably doesn't have an ending. I have no idea. Uh, oh, hi. How are you doing? Maybe they're hiding inside it. Well, I kind of already found them, so... Okay. So it seems like this is this is a little more physics-based than uh, Defend Your Castle. Also, this guy, like, like bounced off the, uh, the roof of his little house, and he somehow survived. Okay, I have to, like, really... Oh, wait, he already died anyway. Okay. Yeah, so it seems like I really have to throw them up in order for them to die. Okay. Wait, villagers pillage three. I thought it said I pillage four. Oh, wait, maybe that's my grand total. Yeah, it probably is. Okay. Round three, pillage the village. There's a windmill. Do I- can I pick up the windmill? I don't know, it seems like I can click on it. Don't let them escape! There we go, I'm just gonna drop them into the stratosphere. Why did that thing collapse? What? Okay. Okay, they're all dying. And is- is that everyone? Hang on a second, no, that's not everyone. Because they have this guy as well. Goodbye. Oh wait, there's another guy who just came out of the shelter. How the heck did you survive? Oh my god, they're all trying to escape here. Okay, this guy got stuck underneath the house. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Oh my god. Yeah, so we're- we're basically playing God here again, guys. And is that it? Yep. I think- I think we killed everyone. I don't think anyone escaped, so we're all good to go. Alright, and now what's happening? Okay, is- is that it? Yeah, neutral, pacifist, or antagonist. Okay, what- what exactly is this? Are there are there different routes you can take here? Uh, euthanasia. Power gauntlet. Okay, hang on a second. Let me look at this stuff right here. Increases mana regeneration with each level. Increases maximum mana with each level. Allows one free escape villager per round for each level purchased. Villagers drop more coins per level. Pacifism, euthanasia, slave cage. Freeze time, and it doesn't say what this one is. Doesn't say what this is either. Great Barrier, 2000. Acme Anvil, 1500. Drops an anvil on the selected area. And Power Gauntlet, which just looks like the Power Glove. Converts your cursor into the Power Gauntlet. Additional levels grant more charges. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like I can purchase any of this right now, because the least expensive ones I can purchase are Euthanasia and Power Gauntlet. But those both cost 800. I only have 430, so... I guess I'll just have to continue on for now without getting any upgrades. Also, this music, this this music is, is doing some things to me here, guys. Uh, I can save the game. Sure, I'll save right there. Alright, we are on round four. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Round four. Pillage the village. Okay then, yeah, so I don't know if this game is an ending. Who the heck is this guy? No, you're not, a, you're not escaping me, buddy. Oh, you have a parachute. Okay, so how exactly am I? He might not be so tough without his chute. Is there a way I can- I can remove his parachute? Hang on a second. Oh, I see. I can cut his chute. I see. I see. Okay, can I take care of him first before- Okay, there. He's dead. Take care of him before I take care of the other guys. Okay, hang on a second. Wow, okay. I just, like, crushed him underneath the- the- the little house right here. Oh my god. I'm not trying to pick up the houses. I'm trying to pick up the other villagers. No, you die. You die, please. No, you all do- Oh my god. Jeez, there's so many things you have to keep track of in this game. How did this guy survive? Stop. Stop bouncing off the w the houses, please. 
Okay, I think everyone's dead. I don't think anyone escaped. You just got crushed underneath this house. Yeah, so it does seem- okay, yeah. So it does seem like I can destroy their houses, but I really need to, like, drop them hard. I need to drop them really hard in order to do that. Yeah, it's it's just stuck in the little animation as well, which is which is interesting. Yeah, you know what? I want to be the antagonist. I like to be the antagonist here, so I think I'll, uh... Yeah, I think I'll buy the power gauntlet. We'll just see what that does. Yeah, so... Initially marketed as an accessory for the Exgendo Entertainment System. This 9th generation power gauntlet's been retooled and optimized for maximum crushing power. It's so bad, just like the power glove itself. Okay, let me just save here. Let's keep going here. Round 5. Pillage the village. Alright. So I need to remember that whenever I save, it just... it the, the game just begins immediately. Oh, and I unlocked sandbox mode. Okay. There's a sandbox mode in this game too, apparently. Uh, I guess maybe I'll try that out later. Oh wait, I think the power gauntlet, uh, is, is available to me now. I think I can use it. Okay, hang on. Spells? Yes, please use the power gauntlet. Oh my god. Okay, uh, minus one alignment. Some guy just exploded into a pool of blood. I don't know what the heck even happened. Hang on a second. Let me just keep throwing this guy up into the air and cutting his chute. There. Now he doesn't have a parachute. Let me just throw this guy up as well. I don't know where you, where you, what you bounced off of, where you, what you, what have you. Okay, just die, please. Okay, you're dead, and now you're dead. Yeah, so the game does appear to be a lot more physics-based in the Fenrir Castle, because the villagers bounce off of everything, and so do the houses. They're so bouncy. Alright, brutality bonus, minus one. Okay, then. And, uh, I still don't have enough to purchase anything else right now. I, I don't think, no. Euthanasia is 800. Imbues your cursor with lethal injection. Uh, okay. So, I guess these ones are, are more brutal, but I guess these ones still kill them, but it kills them, uh, what, what's the term I'm looking for? Uh, humanely? You know, a humane way of putting them down? I guess? <laughs> yeah, uh, this is, this is already, uh, just, just absolutely, uh, terrible. <laughs> Alright, well, let's continue on. We can't purchase anything right now, guys. Alright. Let's keep going then, go to round six. Round six, pillage the village. Yeah, so like I said, I don't know if this game has an ending, guys, but... I'll, I'll play this for a little while longer and then I'll, uh... Maybe... <laughs> end this video. There we go, just want to get rid of the, uh, the parachuter first. Oh my god, there's another guy. So I think the way the game works is that I can let at least three of them escape. And then I think, uh... If I let, th if I let more than three of them escape, then I fail the level. Because I think that's what these little, uh, yellow, orange, and red icons are up here. Because I think if a villager manages to escape, then one of those icons is probably gonna maybe get marked out with an X or disappear. I I, I don't exactly know how it works, but I, I don't want to let that happen, obviously. Alright, and I think there's just these two guys right here. They're cut their parachutes. Hang on, there's more guys over here. So, oh my god, why can't I pick anything up? I can't see where everyone is. Holy crap. Okay, there, here's the other guy. I think this guy might be the last one. Can I, like, do this to him? Okay, yeah, that's that works too. But, <laughs> it's a lot more fun just throwing them into the sky and watching them fall. There, I think I think I killed everyone. There we go. We destroyed everyone's faces. Okay, then. Yeah, and also, they, they turn into skeletons after you kill them. That's, that's really gruesome. Holy jeez. Um, you know what? I'm curious as to what euthanasia is. I guess I'll buy it. Why the heck not? So, I guess we'll go in and see what this does right now. Alright, let's go to round seven then. Round seven. Pillage the village. It's probably gonna say that for all the rounds, but okay. Uh, what do I want to do first? Yeah, get you guys out of the way. Uh, actually use my spells. Let me try euthanasia. Here, giant needle. Okay, there. I, I, I killed him humanely, and he still died. Okay. I don't know if anyone escaped. I don't think anyone did escape. Alright, they're gonna come out of that little shelter, though. I know that's gonna happen. There we go. Alright. That's how many of these guys we killed so far. Just cut his chute. Sometimes when I click on the parachute, it doesn't cut it for some reason. I don't know why. And just break this this little house right here so that it won't get in the way. Very nice indeed. Uh, there we go. Just throw them all into the air. Okay, these guys are gonna come out. Uh, okay, hang on a second. I forgot, I forgot to cut the chutes of one of the guys. You just die. Die, please. Oh my god, what was that? What was that bounce? Okay, he's dead anyway. Just get this guy up. Cut his chute. There we go. Oh my god, there's another guy here, for goodness sakes. No, just just stop. Oh my god, why are there, why are there still more of them coming out? 
I didn't cut this guy's shoot in time. I tried to click on it, but it didn't work. Here we go. How the heck can you guys even survive that high of a fall anyway? No, why are you going towards the edge of the screen? Don't you be doing that. Don't you be doing that. How are you doing? See, I can just kind of like hold him up right here. And he doesn't do anything. Okay, there we go. I missed out on some money drops, unfortunately, but it's okay. It's alright. Pillaged some villagers. Got more money. And, uh, my humanity is back at zero now. Or my alignment is back at zero, I think, because I used the euthanasia. What else could I... Could I purchase after that? I guess I could purchase the mana power plant. Because that's the least expensive one after euthanasia and power gauntlet. It only costs a thousand, so... Maybe I'll use that next. Alrighty then. Round 8. I don't think I'm going to be showing off all the upgrades in this video, guys. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll even make more more videos of this. Well, I, I don't know if I... W what the heck? How are you doing, assassin? Uh... What in the world is this? Okay, no. Some villagers are more interested in money. Okay. I don't know who the heck that was exactly, but... At least he's dead now. So, just, just cut your shoot. Can I burn you? I wonder... You get the heck out of here. No, I can't, I can't seem to burn him, okay. Just pick them out one at a time. There we go, you're dead, and so is your house. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible. But who knew that, that playing god could be this much fun? You know, just murdering all the innocent villagers with, with my god hands, with my, with my giant cursor. My giant oversized cursor right here. Okay, these guys are just still coming out of the shelter. Just die for goodness sakes, there we go. Pound your face into the ground, pile drive you. No, why are you, okay, what the heck? Exactly what are you doing? Okay, this guy's gonna try and escape. No! You're not going to escape. Not on my watch. I feel like- I feel like I let- I accidentally let some guy escape. But I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I killed him. But I don't exactly know if I did or not. There we go. Now I have enough to get the, uh, the mana power plant. Very nice indeed. I pillage some villagers. It's all the loot I plundered. Ye old English terms. Alright. There is actually a castle over here, so I guess this is where the, uh, the castle in Defend Your Castle is located. And that's where all the villagers are. Okay, then. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna purchase that. Increases mana regeneration with each level. But I don't actually know what that, what that is, though. I don't know what mana does in this game. Okay, so I think here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna play this game up until round 10. And then I think after that I'm going to stop and check out sandbox mode just to see what that's all about. Because I don't think I'm gonna be making more videos of this game, guys. This'll probably be the only one I make, but I'll try to at least clear the game all the way up to round 10. Will you stop? Oh my god. I can't click on him because he's climbing. He's climbing- oh god, die, please. Okay, you're all dead. I guess these guys must have health bars, because sometimes they die when I smash them into the ground. Oh my god. Okay, there's so many things I need to keep track of all of a sudden. Okay, that guy is stuck behind the house. If he's just gonna stay there, that'll be good. Okay, where's the other guy? Okay, that guy's dead. Good. Oh, okay, I need to move my cursor off of him, and then he starts moving. Alright. How about I just take my time with this, then? Alright. Now, can I grab you without without you doing any crazy thing? Okay, break this. I know you're gonna die. Or or you're not going to. Okay, there, now you're dead. Alright, and then you just have the parachuters right over here. Just all coming out of the woodwork. All of them coming out of the woodwork. Okay, just cut their parachutes. Okay, that guy's dead, that guy's dead. Okay, another guy died. I think... I don't think anyone escaped. Yes, it's like if they land on the houses, then they'll be they'll be okay. I don't want them to be okay, I want you all to die. There we go. And then, just get rid of these guys. Oh my god, I'm not trying to... Oh my goodness gracious, no, he's at the edge of the screen. Freaking houses, okay. You just get get the heck out of here. Yeah, I need to, I really need to try and destroy the houses too, because it seems like they're acting as, like, like protection for, for the villagers here. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. How are you doing? Is it just one of you? Yeah, I think it's just one parachuter. And all the other guys are just regular, uh, villagers. There we go. Just throw them up into the air, and watch them all fall down and die. Cause that's always a fun thing to do. At least in a video game. Oh, and that house didn't have anyone in it. Okay. It was completely pointless for me to even, to even obliterate that one. Alright. Um, I only have 680 dollars. I cannot purchase anything, so we'll just continue on. Alright. This will be the last round I play, guys, and then after that we'll go check out sandbox mode, maybe mess around in that for a little while, and then we'll end this video. 
Oh, this is just a bonus round, okay. Well, in that case, I'll go and, uh, annihilate all of you. I'll go annihilate all the fools. Oh, we unlocked the credits. Okay, then. Uh, what exactly does that mean, I unlocked the credits? I- I don't understand. Uh, oh wait, I could- Oh, I could have crushed him with the bowling balls. Oh, I could have done that as well, actually. Oh. Uh, um, okay then. You know what, just because that was a bonus round, how about I dress- How about I try playing just one more regular round? Or maybe I'm not going to play a regular round because I... I think I broke the game. Yeah, I just saved the game and it's not loading the next level. Uh... Okay, I, I broke it. There we go. Broke another game. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's going now. It's... <laughs> okay. I thought for a moment there I broke the game because it was taking so long to load. Okay, one more level, alright? I'm not gonna get too carried away with this. Just one more level. One more normal level and then we'll, we'll, we'll stop. We'll just stop. Okay. You're not even doing anything. Oh my god, this is gonna get, gonna get hectic real fast. Alright, there we go. At least it takes them a while to, uh, get their, get their little grappling hooks out. Yeah. And then when I put my cursor over them, they, that's when they disappear. Okay, get this house out of here. Take this one out next. There we go. Just because it has the normal guys that I can, that I can easily deal with. Okay, I think one guy died. I'm pretty sure he did. Oh my god. Stop landing on the houses, please. And just die. There we go. All of you are dead. All of you are dead. We'll just go in and take care of maybe the, the ones on the left side first. Okay, cut your shoot, cut your shoot. I'm trying to cut y yours, but oh my god, I, I just let one of them escape. No. No. This is not going good at all. Oh wait, I can actually let more of them escape because that only got rid of like... Like... One, one little villager up here, okay. Also, McFE needs to stop annoying the heck out of me. I'm trying to kill an entire village, can you not see that? Oh my god. Okay, I can't, I can't pick up the other guy, because he was hidden behind a, a, a house. No, don't you dare. Don't you even think about escaping. N neither do you. You can't think about escaping either. Alright, just cut his, his shoot. There we go. We have a hundred villagers plunder now, guys. There we go. Alright, and now the last two, or, or no, this, this guy's gonna be the last one, okay, or, or maybe not. Okay, hang on a second, just kill the assassin right here, kill the expert assassin, okay, there's another one, okay, he's the last one, because when the shelter breaks, I think that means there's not gonna be any more villagers that come out of the, uh, of the shelter. Okay, and break this too, and break your face, okay, we're done now, I'm pretty sure we are done. Okay, that wasn't exactly a perfect round, but... I still feel like we did okay. There's just too many things to keep track of, for goodness sakes. I'm not- I'm not fast enough with my reaction timing. My- my reaction timing, okay. Um, yeah, so, I guess Pit Trap Engineering. I don't think I'm gonna show that off right now. Um, yeah, so just go to round 12, but... How do- how do I show off the- the sandbox mode? Exactly. Is, can I- can I pause this? Can I press escape to pause? Okay, wait, what- what- who are you? Hang on a second. Who's- who's this guy? Going- going over here. Looks like you have a jetpack of some kind. No, you have a wingsuit. Like a mechanical wingsuit. Oh, okay, well, you're dead. <laughs> Alrighty then. Oh, and we have assassins too. Okay, maybe this round. This last round and then we'll- we'll get the heck out and then I'll try and figure out how to- how to do, uh, how- how to unlock, uh, sandbox mode. Okay, hang on a second. Because I want to see what the pit trap engineering actually does. Okay, wait until he gets over here, and then throw him. Throw him into the air. Okay, so pit trap engineering is right over here. Now, is there... How, how do I... How do I use this? I don't... I don't understand how to use this. Um, I should have probably read what it did exactly. Yeah, that probably would have been a good idea. It probably would have been. Okay, are you not dying? Okay, I'm just like... Like lowering him gently onto the ground. I guess- I guess that's what the game is- is thinking I'm doing. Okay, no, you stop. Okay, while well, you're dead. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I need to, like, throw him into the air and then drop him? Okay, that did actually seem to work, so I'm gonna do- and- wow, okay. What the heck even was that? It, like- it, like- it- what the heck is going on? There's, like, things exploding off screen. What is happening right now? The- the house, like, pushed him towards the edge of the screen and he escaped. Gosh, darn it! This is why I- I like to break the houses. Oh my god, okay, that actually, like- slightly launches him into the air. Oh my god, too many things to keep track of. Nope, you stop. 
You just stop. Okay, one of them one of them died though, at the at the very least. Okay. And I think I need to yeah, I need to like crush this guy. I need to like slam him into the ground in order to kill him. If I just throw him up, then he just flies around with his wingsuit. No, you don't. I'm just gonna get you right off of there. Alright, you're dead. Alright. And then just the parachuters after that. Okay, so after I complete this round, guys, I'm gonna try and and see how I can uh, how I can get into sandbox mode. Oh my god, my phone is ringing, but I think we're done. Are we done? We done? Yes, okay, we are We are done, so hang on a second. Let me go in and answer my phone quickly. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Let's just go and continue this for, for just a moment so I can at least go and save. I don't think I have enough to purchase anything. No, I do not. Okay, so what I want to do is that I want to save this. Okay, so that is saved. And now, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna try and maybe refresh the game window and see if maybe there's an option for sandbox mode. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm just going to ignore you for now. Hang on, let me try this out here. Okay, here we go, guys. Sandbox mode. So what I did was that I refreshed the page, and yep, there is a sandbox mode. So let me try this out here and see, see what exactly we can do. Uh, we got our spells. We can also spawn all these guys here. Alright, so this is all the stuff that we've unlocked so far. I still don't know what Pit Trap Engineering does. So this is all the stuff that I think we discovered so far. There's still some more guys that, uh, that aren't available here. So, I can spawn these guys in. Oh yeah, we have like a little, uh, containment chamber of some kind. Yeah, and I guess it's just a little place where we can mess around and, and kill these guys in. Just fill the entire place with blood. Why the heck not? Why the heck not? So yeah, these guys, these guys right here. So when you throw them up, they have a parachute, and then you can cut them by left-clicking. And you can just slam their face into the ground, and that's how you kill them. And then these guys, yeah, the assassins. So when you move your cursor over them, they move, they become invisible, and you can't click them when they're invisible. So you have to wait until they get to the edge of the screen, and then when they, they throw that grappling hook up to the top, to try and escape, that's when you have to move in and destroy their face. Alright, and then these guys with the wingsuit, so when you throw them up, they just, uh, they just kind of fly around. That's when you have to slam them into the ground, because that, that's what kills them. Alright. And I don't know what any of the other things do. Actually, how, how would I try the bowling ball? Try crushing someone with the bowling ball, just because I didn't do that during the bonus level. How are you doing? Okay, a giant bowling ball falling on your head doesn't kill you, huh? Okay, that still that still doesn't kill you. What in the heck? W will you die, please? Oh my god! Ugh! Oh wow! Okay, I just I just completely avoided him. Hey! Okay, that I did that hurt you a little bit? Oh yeah, it's hurting him. There we go. There, crush him to death. Okay then, and I guess this X is where we can just uh, where we can just exit sandbox mode. Okay, how about I try doing the 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 power gauntlet? Yeah. So when I do that, it just causes them to explode into a pool of blood. And then euthanasia, I just put them down gently. You know, without without making them explode. Alright, and I can't pick up their skeletons. Actually, hang on a second. I want to try out something here. Euthanize him, and then I can just move his body around. I can just kind of... I can continue slamming it into the ground, but that doesn't uh, do anything at all. Okay. Alrighty then, well that's, uh, that's all there is to say about sandbox mode. I don't even know what the heck this thing is, but I don't remember unlocking this at all. I can probably crush you with this as well, though. Yeah, I definitely can. Alrighty then. Well, I think I'm gonna... <laughs> I think I'm gonna get get the heck out of here now. Alright. Quit to the menu. Yes, I want to quit, and I think we're done with this video, guys. Okay then, so that was Pillage the Village. That was actually a, a lot more fun than I thought it would be. It's definitely a lot better than Defend Your Castle. Like I said, it does seem to be a lot more physics-based, because everything just bounces around. The houses bounce around, the villagers bounce around, and there does appear to be more kinds of villagers. I don't know, the game probably has an ending, and if it does have an ending, then... I don't know, maybe I'll make more videos of this. Because to be honest, I am actually kind of curious as to whether or not this game has an ending. Maybe this game does have a limited number of rounds, and after you complete a certain number of them, then the game will end. I'd kind of like to see if the game does have an ending, so who knows, maybe I'll make a second video of this, and this won't just be a one-shot video. Of course, I'll have to look it up and see if the game does in fact have an ending, and if it does, then... I don't know, maybe there will be a second video of this. I'm not entirely sure yet, guys, but if you want to play this game for yourselves, the link's in the description. It's definitely a lot more fun than Defend Your Castle. Not that Defend Your Castle wasn't a bad game or anything, but I mean, it's pretty... It's pretty difficult. This one does appear to be a lot easier, though, because the villagers 
aren't trying to like destroy a castle or anything. They're just kind of walking around and trying to trying to escape escape from your god hands. But they do it pretty slowly, so that does give you time to completely wreck them, wreck them into oblivion. So other than that, guys, that's Pillage the Village. I don't know if I will revisit this game and try to complete the rest of it if it does have a finite number of rounds, but we'll see. Okay, I'm not 100% sure yet. Anyway, thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video I make later.